Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Gaming. We're doing another first impressions today. I'm the Hand of the King, and this is Maritime Calling. An adventure RPG game set on the high seas, and it looked amazing, so we got a key from the developer. Thanks for that. This is a bit of a demo, still in the beta build, so not everything might be perfect, but we're going to check out what's going on. And I believe this is planned for quarter three, 2021 release. So let's hop into it. Generating world, click to start. All right, oh, okay. Here we go, we got our ship. Basic controls, hover over task text to get more information. Well done. Rotate the camera with the uh, right, of course. Zoom with the wheel. Try game speed controls. All right, how do we do this over here? Camera mode, okay, we can go right to the ship. World map. Oh, it's a pretty big map. We got uh, innovations, develop innovations to improve your. Oh boy. Okay, so we get to uh, land boat, crew development. So there's a lot of stuff to uh, level up. Sailors, okay. This is interesting, I like it. Here's our crew. We got uh, Roger and Edward and Martin Edwards. Great, Tom, Tom Green. You guys remember? He, uh, him and the cheese, you guys remember Tom Green. Alright, let's see. Matthew Edwards, don't we already have? No, Martin Edwards, okay, they must be brothers. Alright, I don't know what any of this means, but we're gonna figure it out. Rations. Okay, we gotta keep our people fed, makes sense. What do we have to do? Try game speed controls. Here it is. So two times seems to be doubly as fast as one times. Incredible. Let's put it back on one. All right, open crew menu, open sailor view. Let's check it out. Crew menu. Let's look at uh, the first guy, Edmund Edwards. Wait a minute, how many Edwards do we have? Anyway. Filter sailors by skill. Oh, he's a very able seaman. He's stoic and agile and idle. You know what? Stop being an idle seaman, that's what I would say. All right, filter sailors by skill. How do we do that? Fishing. Assign. Filter. Oh my gosh. Alright, do you have a filter here, Seaman? No, okay. Full integrity. It's always good to have authority. Well, they, we could, they could throw a mutiny if we're not authoritative enough. It's gonna be, it's gonna be rough. Okay, we got 50 cannonballs. That's nice to know. We had 700 water. I'll give you a hint, we're on the ocean, we got plenty of water. Alright, press the skill icon next to group title. Anchor, scroll, crafting tools. Crew of the foresight. Okay, our, our ship is the foresight. We should have had the foresight to see that. There we go. Filter sailors. By uh, so this guy's the number three, we got some zeros. Andrew Jackson! Oh my god! There's royalty on the ship. Well, celebrity, I should say, at least. And, uh, Roger Roberts. Edmund Edwards. There he, there he is. He's our man. Alright. Assign riggers to sail duty. We need 11. There. Okay. Assign. Sail duty. Or sail. Um, hold on. Select the class. Oh, we get to put him as a deckhand. Or, oh, man. This is a lot of in-depth stuff. I'm excited. Excited to play this game full time. I don't think we'll be able to hit everything in the first impressions, but holy moly. I, I like where it's going for sure. Who's learning? Oh, somebody's learning on the job. I don't know how I started that. Alright, assign riggers. Group. Ship control. Foresail and mainsail. Alright, so ship control. Helm. What? Me what? Skill seamanship. All right. Each group has a number of workplaces in it. You can drag, sa oh, drag sailor icons directly in each slot. Okay. Or use the auto button, which is this. Okay. So we got these guys on there. Two of our best, and we got three out of eleven. Do we just hit this button? No, because that's sailing is different. Here you go. Seven out of eleven. Main sail. Okay. So each sail has their own thing. So we put three guys in the galley. And we didn't even need to. But you know what? They can they can make us some food while we're uh, sailing the high seas. Alright, assign sailors to anchor duty. Anchor. This looks about right. Okay, so a quick 
quick click of the button. It's really nice. Raise anchor. How should we do that? Raise anchor, raise sails, wait for it. Okay. So now we're going to get into moving, it seems. So let's go back to here. Raise anchor. Change the state of the anchor by left. I click on the left panel button or campus stand object on the ship. The ship is anchored and cannot move. Well, that makes sense. Let's look for the anchor. Well, I certainly don't see it. What are you doing? Are you fishing? Roger. That's great. Alright, well here's the anchor. Raise anchor. Where's that happening? That's like a progress bar. Oh, it's, it comes out the front. Who knew? Is that like a progress bar? Is this guy doing it? Failed task? What the hell, man? Okay, I think we're still waiting. Oh, we did it. Raise sails. In order to uh, raise or lower sails, you need to click on its model. Okay. Hoist the main sail and uh, the top sail, of course. Sprit sail, you know, hoist that too while you're at it. Is this a sail back here? The mizzen mast. Hoist it. Wait for sailors to hoist sails. Okay, so we gotta. Okay, so they're doing it real time. There's Lawrence, uh, Fishburn doing the sails. We got the mizzen mast going. It's pretty cool. Is this sail always in front of a ship? I've never seen that before. Well, you know what? I'm not a pirate, so I wouldn't know. Bro, stop failing my freaking tasks. Come on. Let's check out our crew, see how they're doing. Uh, so far, so good. So far, so good. Tom Green, <laughs> still still doing nothing, man. Alright. Right, we got these two sails, and we got... Okay, they're all open. Here we go. Open crew view and assign sailors. We accidentally already did that, so that's perfect. Open the galley window. Galley is food. Okay, make a soup. Cook fish soup. I think we're doing it. Make dried fish. Wait a minute. Um. Oh, there we go. Dry fish. Okay, so the different tools. The stove, the drying rack, the table. Uh, set meals for sailors. I don't know how to do that in the least bit. But we did. We clicked the rations. Okay, ration. And now we can set meals for sailors. Let's do dried fish. Okay. And I know they like the rum, but we're going to do the fish soup we just made. The two things we just made is perfect. Okay, perfect. Open innovations. So here's, we're going to explore the innovations next. Uh, start developing any innovation you like. Alright, where is uh, blackjack and hookers? I'm just kidding. Alright. I don't know what all the numbers mean. What would be a good thing to have? Plus 25 crew combat strength? Strength sounds good to me. Finish making your innovation. How would I do that? Okay, the title changes down here, which is perfect. Crew, okay, authority, time of day, right, night shift. Alright, we gotta wait five hours now? One per hour? We got zero out of five, is that right? Yikes. Okay. Well, you know what? We'll, we'll close that. I think it'll keep going. Alright, we don't have the anchor. Can we Can we go now? Yeah, we're actually going. Here's some rocks. Let's not go into them. Oh, Iceland's over here, though. Alright. So, a lot of it is some menu management. But, uh... Sailing is going to be a big part of this, I'm sure. There's a lot of dangerous rocks over here, but I, th I think we can get past them. You know what? I'm just going to say I think we can. I don't know how to steer this thing, though. Obviously, we're using A and D to steer and hoping for the best. But of course, the rudder is on a little bit of a delay because of a real-time, uh, real-time, you know, simulation. Okay, we got one per hour going here. Okay, we're still learning. So that's not going to change till we got that. We got a deep blue spot over there. It could be a Loch Ness monster. Let's try to steer between these rocks. I know that sounds pretty much like we're going to die on the rocks, and maybe. But you know what? That's exciting. 
I'm having a fun time. There's, like I said, there's a lot to learn, it seems. A lot to learn. Can be spent on executive orders. Crew view, okay. Why are we turning left? We're making a hard... I mean, why are we turning right? We're making a hard left. Let's go, let's go. Okay, straight down. Straight down the mizzen mast. Let's go. Yo-ho, bottle of rum, all that. You guys know the, the deal. We got two out of five. We're trying to... Um, is there a wind direction? I can see. Oh, here it is. Wind. Where's that? Displays the efficiency of sails. Current, 30 knots. Seven hours remaining. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what that means. Don't lower it. Don't lower it. I'm not doing that. What does it say? Drop anchor. We're not dropping the anchor. Okay, we're trying to go... Oh my god. These guys don't know how to drive. Keep going. We're trying to go this way. Over here. We've gotta get to Iceland. Did we drop the anchor? Raise the anchor. Oh my god. Who dropped the anchor? Was it me? Probably. Is there a hotkey for it? E. I don't think I hit E. But you know what? Who knows? We're still waiting on this. We got three down, two to go. Jerks. Come on. Alright, time to go. I think, I think they raised the anchor. Here it is. Here's the anchor. Failed task. Perfect. That's exactly what we needed right now. Failed task. Hello? Yes, sir? Cruise the spirits going up. People love sitting here doing nothing. Do these guys get on the side? No, there's people carpenting. Never heard of it called that before. Alright. Time of day, me. Me time of day. It's got to be near four out of five. Are we ready to go? There we go. Okay, we're finally slogging along. People love just sitting here. The spirit's going on. Where's my wheel? Oh, I don't have a wheel. What the hell's going on? Alright, where's the anchor? Alright, the anchors are up. I don't I have a wheel? I forget. I don't think I had to click it before. But I guess somebody's not at the helm. That's the problem. Okay, get on the helm. This guy just got 5 HP for doing nothing. Matthew Edwards. Was that our, was that our best guy? I don't remember. Why is nobody at the helm? Who's here? Edmund. What the f are you doing, bro? Steer wheel. E oh, he's eating. Okay. That explains a lot. That's cool. I guess. Not a big fan, though. So, stop. What are you doing? Uh, what's your name? Michael Robinson. Okay. Oh, we finished the thing. This is updated. Okay. Start developing advanced perception. Okay. So, we followed the wrong uh, thing. Perfect. Open expedition tab in the crew view. Hold on, now we're going somewhere. You want us to do something. Expedition. Oh my god. Assign fighters. Assign gatherers. There you go. Assign items. There's some armor and a musket. How do we get, f How do we get four items with only two slots? Oh my gosh. Okay, whatever. Wait for advanced perception unlock. We're doing that. Reach the secluded bay. Okay, I don't know where that is. We came pretty far now that you mentioned it. Alright, teleport to the bay. If you want to skip sailing part, you can immediately teleport to desired. Demo feature only. For fools like me that don't know how to play the real game. Well, I think that's the bay. So I think we're going to get there on our own. And we're still waiting for this thing to unlock anyway. So we got time. And Edmund's done eating. So let's freaking go. I'm having a great time, by the way. 
definitely wish this on wish list this on Steam if you're uh, if you're interested. That's uh, that's all I have to say about that. Let's see what else we can do. Let's go to the bay. We got to do it on our own. This teleport is only here for the demo for meatheads like me. So I'll show you how to really do it. If this isn't the bay, well, we're damn near lost then. But I have a feeling. I feel. I have a feeling it might be. Oh, that's it. It's that far away. All right, we're gonna hit this button. <laughs> um, I didn't think it was that far away, but it was. Okay, start quest. Interact with the zone. You need to get to highlighted area first. And anchor there. What do you mean, highlighted area? Are we highlighted or is it sunset? What's going on? And what does advanced perception do? Ability to find hidden look. Okay, so there's a hidden location here. Oh, we're sailing out. Alright, let's turn around. We're dropping anchors somewhere nearby or in it. And once the perception unlocks, we're going to be able to see uh, Tortuga, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that was a bit more than I thought. And then there was an island here that we were sailing towards that was going to get in the way. And look at this. There's a whole big... Alright, we're in the right place. Don't lower the sail. The anchor's dropping, perfect. We need to unlock uh, perception. All right, how's everybody's spirit? It's not dipping, so that's a positive. Hull's doing good. Authority is up, it was like 20 something. Oh, minus two, spirit. Sorry about that. Is it, is it meal time? Do we need to give food? Rations. Okay, you guys can have biscuits and Rum. Okay, there you go. Standard uh, meal, I think, out on the seven seas. Biscuits and rum. So there's a carpentry tab. We're just gonna look around while that other thing completes. Chop logged planks. Okay, nothing else we can do right there right now. You guys cooking still? Can you cook another soup? Do we not have the fish? I think he's making it. What's this? Salt fish. Salt those fish. Okay. I'm waiting for this. Almost done. Cleanliness. Level of deck cleanliness. When it fails, it falls down. All with decay. You can improve cleanliness by giving mop the deck ordered idle soldiers. Okay. Anybody idle right now? Very involved, but you know what? That's cool. These guys are idle. Off the damn deck, you salty dogs. Okay, should be wrapping up soon. I think we covered the basic uh, menus and whatnot. What's this? Oh, food we got, right? Materials, uh, weapons, crew size. We got 30 sailors. Half of them named Edward or Edmund, but that's okay. I guess, can we speed it up to get the research phase? Oh, there we go. I forgot all about the game speed. Alright, we got it. Start the expedition. Find gold on the island. Return to the ship. Okay, so there's... Expeditions to islands. It's not just all sea stuff. Alright, the foresight calmly heaves on the waves in the middle of a picturesque bay. Behind them, the underwater rocks glisten like knives in the sun. The ship is damaged, supplies are running low, it's just a matter of mooring to unknown shores and hoping for the best. Oh, I didn't realize we were in that bed. I thought our spirit was pretty damn good. There's 600. Alright, give the command to disembark, investigate the island with a spyglass. Oh, we get to pick one. Uh, let's investigate real quick. On three sides, the bay is surrounded by dense thickets, separated from the sea by a narrow strip of beach. On the south side, the exit from the bay is guarded by reefs. Given the state of the ship, it's not even worth going near them. In such a harbor, your flagship is reliably protected from the storm and prying eyes. On the sandy beach just north of the ship, you can see a colony of large tortoises basking in the sun. They look like easy prey, at least while on land. Alright, sure, disembark. Boat slowly approaches the sun-drenched beach. I don't know what the 16 is. Oh, time. 
got it. Uh, your people, unused to the solid ground of their feet, uh, fall over and whatnot. If it wouldn't for your mission, you could stay here forever. Idyllic beach. Incredible. Dense thickets around the beach from all directions. You are certain you have never seen trees like this before. You have no idea where to go. Let's take a look around. Oh, okay. Oh, they give you like a map to interact with. You see two sailors crucified on the beach near the trees. The poor devils have been dead for quite some time. It's unclear who tied them up and left them there. After all, it would seem that the island was uninhabited. Right, send the most experienced sailor to examine the bodies. Send a novice to look at it. Or say we're on hostile land. Let's send a novice, so if he dies, it's, it's no big... Uh-oh. Uh the sailor carefully approaches the corpse and begins to turn them over. A sudden hunch hits you, and you're about to shout, don't do it, but a few ruffian stakes plunge into the sailor's body, and he falls dead. Well, sorry, Edmund uh, McDaniels, but you're dead. Secluded Bay is crowned by a small cape. The moored foresight calmly heaves on the waves. Palm trees. Okay, several large sea turtles are visible near the water edge. Hunt turtles or set camp? Why are we camping here? We just got camped and killed and trapped. Can we interact with this stuff? Oh, yeah, we can move. Oh, it's the turtles. Nice. Okay, each of the sailors cast at least one glance at the ship. Some with sadness, some with hope. You don't know what your eyes are filled with, probably all of it together. Distracted from your sad thoughts, you look around the beach and realize that sea turtles live in this part of it. With the right luck, you'll be able to replenish your food supplies. Alright, we're looking for gold. We go back to the ship and sail to the highlighted area east. Alright, we're not doing all that. We're, we're barely even surviving here. Alright, let's check out this other... Alright, we're between, we're between uh, things here. As one sailor is making his way through the tall grass, he swore loudly and harshly as the men barely had time to catch and prevent from falling. You didn't understand what happened. As you looked around, you noticed that the culprit of the attack was crawling back into the thicket, glistening with scales. The victim's face was a lot of pain. Alright, you do not know how dangerous the bite of the snake is, but you are sure that the, with a wounded squad it will be more difficult to move around the jungle. Um, halt and give him assistance. I, I guess that's the smarter play. I don't know. And we got what? We got hunger, we got health, spirit. Okay, so it's all the same stuff we had before. Interesting. Without hesitation, you settle down for a rest. The venom of the snake is unknown to you, and by and large, there's not much you can do. However, the usual dressing, not to mention the rest, is able to make sure he doesn't die. Okay. And we got respect, probably crewmanship, authority. There we go. Okay. Alright, you see a craggy knob on a cape projecting. Definitely be a lighthouse there one day. Let's set up camp. The trailers relish the opportunity. Time to decide what to do next. Uh, well, we're at camp. So we could... What time is it? The group moves slower at night and gets more fatigued. The number tells you how many hours left till the end of time phase. So do we die when it hits zero? Let's sleep. Nap or sleep? Let's do a full sleep. Oh my god, it took eight hours. That was probably the wrong decision. But that's okay. Alright, uh, fatigue is fully recovered. Perfect. When fatigue is above 50, group starts to lose health. Well, that was at like five. So we didn't need, uh, we didn't need that at all. Alright, what's up here? Or we can't move up the mountain. Okay. Oh, break camp, of course. Uh-oh. Well, it is the same dang snake, so we're gonna halt and probably waste our time. That's okay. Alright, this is blue. Maybe because it's nighttime? I don't know. When you wake up from your sleep and talk to your fighters, you get good news. A sailor who was bitten by a snake some time ago is recovered and is ready to continue serving. Not least of all, the healing was due to the wise and timely decision of the captain. Your authority among the sailors has increased. Perfect. Alright, the devil made you go and look at this cape up close. This place is unkind. The rocks, the grayness. Looking out at the ocean, you stumble over a protruding rock and almost fall. Alright, make sure the device is not damaged. You see the arrow point somewhere to the east. You approach the rock, you realize that it's attracted by the metal hid in the rock. Okay, we're going to mine some iron. That's a good, uh, that's a good supply. You see 100 iron ore. Gather 19 carefully. Uh, probably... Piss people off and get 78, or 39 at, nor 39 at normal pace. Excuse me. 
Um, okay, so we get more iron or we leave. Let's leave. No more snake bites. Okay, somebody else recovered. Perfect. Iron. Okay, let's look in here. Oh boy. Somebody decided to swim without asking your permission. Went out swimming. Don't you have enough sea water for swimming? No, Captain, I just couldn't resist. Well, to hell with it. Let him really catch up, you think, or is it time to make a... No, he can, he can frick off. Besides, we clicked one of the only dots not near a damn ocean. He's swimming in the forest? Go to hell. No offense. Alright. Seems that an empty beach does not carry any dangers, but also does not have anything interesting. Uh, let's head to the green node and see what's up with that. Alright, you managed to see one of the thousands of birds currently shouting. Blah, blah, blah. Let's gather some fruits. Alright, working with the hatchet in addition to the respite. Glade promises a long way to treat. Yada yada yada. Send one sailor to collect fruit. Or send them to collect all the fruits. I guess there's safety in numbers. We're gonna gather 39 at a normal pace. Took two hours. That's fine. Alright, we're gonna leave. Looking for gold. Okay. Opportunity. The presence of which is indicated by characteristic footprints of the sand. There's turtles here. We could hunt them. I don't want to hunt turtles right now. Let's see if this green one's any different. Chop trees. We get trees for, uh, you know, carpenting. Then we'll head back and check out here. Oops. I clicked that by accident, but that's fine. You've never liked taking a long way around. What if something interesting happens on the direct path? For example, now thickets with quite edible looking fruits. And what would happen if you decided to go around this jungle? Alright, let's get some more fruit. All the fruit. 39 fruit. I think that means it's done, right? Yeah, we, okay, we did all that. There's our 39s. We've got everything. Oh, we got a 50. Okay, we got a set camp. Everybody needs to... Wait, what did I click on? You have... Alright, let's, let's eat food. Add fruit. Okay, confirm. Eat. Okay, and now we're gonna sleep all the way. Okay, zero fatigue, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, let's go here. Break camp. And let's go here. So this is fun, there's more to it than just the sailing. Alright, to the north, a lone peak is visible. This here, as if it did not grow out so much, blah blah blah. To the south, the jungle grows. What do you want to do? Alright, let's explore the neighboring area. Okay, after a while, the scout returns. Great news, you have discovered a new location. Alright. Let's check it out. Could be gold. Oh my gosh, look at that. Mysterious Lone Mountain does not give you any opportunity to avoid it. Beckons you with its natural quality. Inside the Lonely Mountain. Okay. Your natural instinct tells you that something's wrong with this place. It's like you're in a cemetery. Well, let's scour the area and find out what happened. For a long time, only the quiet conversations of sailors are heard. This place is depressing, even for you, a strong man. After half an hour of useless searching, you hear a long howl. One of the search groups is calling for help. Okay, we're going to urgently run. Alright, you find one of the groups caught in a deep trap. It is primitive, but it's man-made pit. Okay. If the sailors hadn't been trapped, you'd never notice. Anyway, you see the four of your sailors from the search party are at the bottom of the pit. And one of them is already dying. You can also hear some hidden mechanisms starting to work. Obviously, we need to hurry. You find one of the search groups caught... Wait, didn't we already say that? Alright. Uh, forward to the aisle. The lives of the sailors are above all else. Sure. Without hesitation, you grab a rope from the nearest sailor, wrap it around your waist, and go down in the pit with a safety net. No matter if you manage to pull three out, at the last moment you jump out yourself before the artificial pit collapses and kills uh, one man. Alright, sorry. There must be an entrance to the escape. Let's, we gotta find it. We already killed one guy. Alright, moving through a tunnel. It's pretty dark. Let's light some torches. Oh my gosh. There's an altar there made of pure gold. There are many nuggets on it which are probably considered offerings by the locals. Take everything. 
Take only what will be quick to pick up and get away. Everybody run. I'll take the big nugget and hurry along. Okay, let's take some, some gold. Not too much. Alright, this is a good picture. This is good. The mountains give a long way to coolness, but the rocky path requires increased attention. The silence around you pleasantly envelops your squad. Alert. Don't get distracted. I don't understand. Don't get distracted. Alright. Savages rush at you. Six sailors die. That's pretty great. That's 20%. No, that's... Yeah, 20% of our original crew. Oops. Okay. We killed 32 natives, though, and they really deserved it because they wanted to protect their own land. So that's terrible of them. Alright, the noise of the battle gradually subsides. Uh, advantageous position. Two sailors died. Perfect. Alright, we're going to shoot them with our muskets. All right, we killed them, plenty, we won, and we only lost eight uh, people. All right, uh, did we get gold? We got gold, return to the ship. We're gonna go slowly but surely back to the ship. Look at our, what you call, we need to set camp and sleep. A full sleep. You know what, I think that's gonna do it for the first impressions. Definitely interested in this, definitely interested in playing more of it. Um, but yeah, Maritime Calling, if you're liking what you see, wishlist it, uh, drop a like on this video if you don't mind, and you know what, check out our other first impressions too, because we take a look at other recently released games, and we have a fun time with it. So this game, pretty interesting, lots of stuff, the ship, the crew, the islands, I didn't even know there was mapping, and islands and stuff in it. Pretty awesome. Anyway, so like I said, check it out, wishlist it, check it out on Steam, if you like it. And yeah, thanks for watching, thanks for being here, check out our other videos, if you want, no big deal. That'll do it. For the look, lots of reading, but you know what, that's fun, I like the stories, that's cool. And there you go. Thanks for watching, thanks for being here, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day, and a safe flight.